Welcome back to Eye on the Bay. I'm Brian Hackney, and we have our eye on the Chabot Space and Science Center. Follow me as I explore this Bay Area institution and, by extension, the entire universe. There are a number of exhibits where your young ones can explore the ageless cosmos. I mean, where else can they crawl into a black hole? Man, and look at this. I mean, I realize now that what captures most kids' imaginations is the fascinating occupation of texting. But this is what did it for us when we were kids, man. I mean, a Mercury capsule with all the switches. And imagine this capsule screamed back into Earth at 18,000 miles an hour. Chabot's also got this, a 10th scale model of the Saturn V rocket, so big that we can't even make them anymore. It flew 13 missions and carried all of the astronauts to the moon. And one of those missions, Apollo 15, brought back this, a moon rock. You can see it with your own eyes. You can also try to land the LEM on the moon, the LEM, the Lunar Excursion Module, but you can't run out of fuel, you can't hit the surface too hard, you've got to go down very gently, very, oh, shh, oh, oh, oh! Neil Armstrong! And then, there's this place, Astronomy Hall. In Astronomy Hall, all of the planets have lined up for you. In fact, it's a great place to come to get a sense of the scale of our solar system. They've got everything from mighty gas giant Jupiter, to tiny pea-sized Pluto. No wonder it was downgraded to a dwarf planet. There's also this, the magic planet. It's kind of a self-made tour of the solar system where you just punch on a planet and up it pops in the background. You might recognize that one, ah, but would you recognize this one? That would be the planet Mars. And you can all do this at command. This must be kind of what it's like to be God at his console. And on the omnipotent controller subject, you can make your own tornado. They've also got this, a fog machine. As if we don't have enough in the Bay Area. <sighs> you can immerse yourself in Chabot's giant Megadome Theater. And don't forget the newest show in Chabot's planetarium, Tales of the Maya Skies. Here's another sneak peek. Earth, the gods cried and the earth rose from the deep. They called forth the first mountain, and it rose of its own will. This was the dawning of the Maya world. Next, the Chabot Space and Science Center offers the ultimate date, dinner, a movie, and the universe. Welcome back to Eye on the Bay as we continue our look at the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland. I'm Brian Hackney. Dave Stelk will be along in just a moment. But first, you come to an observatory, you expect stars, you expect planets, but do you expect food that is out of this world? Well, this woman does. Laisha Johnson, who is in charge of marketing and sales here, what do you guys do? I, you know, I was amazed I didn't know about this because I love this stuff. What are you doing here on Friday and Saturday nights? Well, on Friday and Saturday nights, we offer a unique experience for parents and kids and for the parents just to get away without the kids. And um, we offer dinner movie in the universe and it's entitled to you get a four course meal. You get a four course meal. Four course meal. Which includes beer or wine. Then go watch a movie at the Megadome and cap off the night by strolling over to the telescopes to do some stargazing. A dinner, a movie, and the universe. And that is my idea of the perfect evening. And to think I didn't even know about it, know. but that's what Chabot is all about, is about learning things. Mm -hmm. And speaking of learning, let's see what Dave Stelk is up to. The mission here at the Chabot Space and Science Center isn't to discover the newest nebula or the next planet in the universe. It's to discover the Bay Area's next scientist. Uh -huh. Chabot offers several educational programs beginning in the Discovery Lab with toddlers. Hold up something that is magnetic. Yes. 
Is there such a thing as a three-year-old scientist? I think there is. These kids are experimenting right now. They ask questions and then they're testing their questions. So they're working just like scientists. Right, let's test this. Test this. Can you show everyone that that is magnetic? Yeah. Uh, these are the brains that you want to mold. They're like sponges. What are you doing here? I'm making a Lego Mars rover. In another lab, other kids are learning how to make solar-powered planetary rovers. Any experience making Mars rovers? No. Really? Might as well start somewhere, right? Yeah. Mission status monitor! Uh, yes, that is your mission status monitor. In the Challenger Learning Center, kids simulate a space mission. Now, in order to do that, what you need to do is you need to land a spacecraft here at your base to pick you up. Annie, what's your job here today? Data. Data. School kids in this control room guide another group of school kids aboard an imaginary spacecraft. Mars Control, this is a spacecraft. We are ready to receive. Over. It's the oldest trick in the book. When they're not looking, teach kids about science and teamwork while they're having fun, even if there is an asteroid impact. We are sustaining damage. Over. Should I be frightened? I don't know. Obviously a lot to learn about things like well, the ozone hole, global warming, all those 21st century problems that future scientists are going to have to solve. And those future scientists are your kids, especially the young ones. You've got to get them down here because we need scientists. And if you want to learn more about anything that you've seen during the course of this show, log on to our website, cbs5.com slash eye on the bay. For now, I'm Brian Hackney at the Chavot Space and Science Center. Thanks for watching. This edition of Eye on the Bay was sponsored by the Chabot Space and Science Center.